Well, there ends the fantastic ride the Leafs have taken us on this season as they lose 2-1 in overtime to the Washington Capitals. Now, we're going to break down this game, and then we'll just quickly reflect on what this season did for us as a Leaf fan, as the Leafs team in general. We'll talk about that. So first up, nothing was happening through the first two periods. The goaltenders were playing stellar. Third period rolls around. Austin, we get the Leafs got a very favorable bounce off the stanchion right in front of the net. Austin Matthews, Austin Matthews there to pick it up. Toe drags it. Top cheese. one nothing Leafs. His fourth of the playoffs, assisted by Morgan Riley and Zach Hyman. Just over five minutes later, though, Marcus Johansson... Finds a way to tuck it behind Anderson. I don't know if it hit a body, if it just hit a couple pieces of Freddie Anderson's equipment and trickles over the line. We got ourselves a tied game 1-1. We had no overtime. Like we're not used to this already. But six minutes in, Marcus Johansson on the doorstep. Martin Marinson cannot cover him. And he puts it home. Caps win. They move on. And the Leafs are eliminated. Both goalies played outstanding in this game. I, I mean, obviously, Braden Holpe, you know, has really stepped up, uh, stepped up his game. Um, oh, you know, over the over the past uh, past couple games, the Leafs have been able to score only the one goal in both games against him. He's been stellar. But Frederick Anderson, guys, we have found something special here. When that trade went down last year, we thought, you know, he's going to be good, but will he? Oh, you know, previous trades again with California teams, the Leafs have not gotten good ones. Vasitoskla is the, the, the latest one, or Bernier in, as well, right? But Frederick Anderson has shut up the critics, and everyone's saying this five-year deal is too much. It's too much for a guy that you don't think is going to be any good. He's damn good. And I'm glad we locked him up. Lou, thank you. But also, I want to thank the Leafs team. They probably won't see these videos. But thank you to everyone who played for the Leafs this year. Literally to Jonas and Roth, to Ben Smith. You know, all those kind of guys. Just because this season has been a one heck of a ride. It really has. Now, we'll get it more into the, the, the full season breakdown um, in the season review that'll come out in a little bit. I'm not sure exactly when. I'll keep you guys posted in the Raptors and Jays videos when that'll be happening. But this series turned a lot of heads, including Leaf fans. A lot of Leaf fans thinking, you know, I love my team, but realistically, they'll probably be knocked out four, five, maybe six games. Well, we got knocked out in six. And if you watch my Leafs uh, playoff preview, round one preview, you would have known that uh, I did say Capitals in six. I thought the Leafs were going to fight. And I thought they were going to grind. and But they were they Capitals were just going to overpower them just a little bit more. And that's what happened. But to the credit of the Leafs, they played six games. And five of them went to overtime. And the other one was a 5-4 loss. Where you were down 4-1 and you found a way to come back, you know, and make it a good game of it. So, this team didn't quit. And, and that's the something I, I've learned about this team. As the season went on and as the playoffs went on, this team did not quit. They did not quit at all. You know, you look back. Pittsburgh. It goes off Jake Gardner's skate. Could have been the worst bounce ever. And, you know, you lose that and you're like, great, now you have to beat Columbus, right? You have to. But what does that team do? They dig in and they find that extra gear and they score two goals and they win. Look at this team. You know, you're in Washington, you're in double overtime. You could go down 2-0 in the series and that's a mess. But in double overtime, beautiful pass from Brian Boyle, beautiful goal from Kasperi Kapanen. And you got a 1-1 series. You come back home. You get it into overtime again. Kadri with the slap pass, if you want to call it that. And Bozak redirects it into the net. 
the city explodes. The Air Canada Center explodes. Everyone in their home explodes. And the Leafs have a 2-1 to series lead over the Washington Capitals. But then the Caps turn on an extra gear. And they came out firing in Game 4. And they, you know, took that 4-1 lead after 1. And it was just too much for the, for the little guys to come back. And then they lose in overtime in Washington. And they come home and they lose in overtime at home. This team did not quit. They didn't care who they were playing. My goodness. How many times did you hear... Oh, Leo Komarov is in a little bit of a scuffle with the Capitals. No way. Oh, Kadri, big hit. Kadri, oh, now there's a little scrum there. This team did not back down from the big, mighty Capitals. They fought with them. Tooth and nail. That fourth line of Martin, Boyle, and Kapanen was electric. You see Martin and Boyle going in hot for the hits, and they're like, well, that's a big hit. Kapanen? Right, and you're like... That line was so dynamite this series. Obviously with the OT winner, and they had that other goal in that game. This team has something special in my heart. You know, I think you guys probably have the feeling, the same feeling. This this team is the start of the new regime Leafs, right? And, you know, a couple years down the road, we'll say, saying he's not staying... Oh, you know, Ben Smith. Uh, remember that, man? Uh, he, it was funny. Remember that they actually in practice, they said he was he was paired at defense? That actually happened, and it was scared the heck out of me. That was when Polak went down, and we didn't know what the heck we were going to do. So, And I give credit to, to this whole team, to the fan base for sticking by these guys, even through the tough times at the beginning of the season. This was one heck of a ride. And I appreciate all you guys for joining me along with um, along this craziness. Only good things to come. All right. So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video and you enjoyed this playoffs, this season, hit that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What was your favorite Leaf moment from this season? You know? Could be. Jake Gardner's overtime winners against Pittsburgh and Winnipeg. It could be Austin Matthews' four-goal night in the opener, even though they lost that, but he still had like, craziness. Uh, it could be Marner's beautiful breakaway dangle on James Reimer. It could be the two OT winners in the playoffs. It could be the Pittsburgh game that, that late in the year. Let me know. What was your guys' favorite moment? One moment for this season. All right, and we'll talk to you guys Tomorrow, Raptors edition, as they are t they're taking on the Bucks at home, game five of that series. So at least we got some Raptors playoffs still going. But this is the young, the young Leaf team. Nothing but good things to come, and I'm pumped for it, all right? So hopefully the Raptors can win that and take a 3-2 series lead over the Bucks. We'll also talk to you guys at Blue Jays edition tomorrow night. Hopefully it's not another 13-inning game, and it's, it's, it's another late one. 10-07 first pitch, so I'm hoping it's not going to be too late, but... Hopefully they get the win and start and really get on a roll. And we'll also talk to you guys, Leafs edition. I can't put a date on it. Again, if you watch the Raptors and Jays videos, stay up to date. And I will be able to let you guys know when the Blue the, the Leafs season review will be happening. You know, we'll break down the year that was. It may be a little bit of a longer video, but it was an enjoyable season. All right. So we'll keep keep you updated updated there and throughout the offseason. We'll stay in touch, all right? So, what a ride for this team. So, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. See you guys then.